In this video, we discuss cerebritis and brain abscess. Brain abscess is a focal area of necrosis starting in an area of cerebritis surrounded by a membrane. It is a potentially life-threatening condition requiring prompt radiological identification and rapid treatment. Among most immunocompetent patients, brain abscesses are due to bacterial infections. The majority accounts for streptococci. In 20 to 40% of cases, no causative organism is identified. Among immunocompromised patients, the causative pathogens are Toxoplasma gondii, Nicardia asteroids, Candida albicans, Listeria monocytogenes, Mycobacterium spp, Aspergillus fumigatus. There are well known risk factors including right to left shunt. Infective endocarditis, lung infection, sinonasal infections, dental abscess, systemic sepsis. When considering the roots of infections, hematogenous dissemination, penetrating trauma, and direct spread from a contiguous infection to be considered. The site of a brain abscess depends on its cause. Frontal lobe abscesses are usually due to an abscess in or beneath the adjacent frontal lobe. Temporal lobe or cerebellar abscesses mastoiditis. Bloodborne infections anywhere in the brain, but has a predilection for the territory of the middle cerebral arteries, especially frontoparietal region. Abscesses are frequently subcortical or paraventricular in location. There are four stages of abscess development. Early cerebritis late cerebritis early capsule formation late capsule formation clinical presentation fever in 50 percent headache focal neurological deficits brain abscesses are multiple in 10 percent to 50 percent ct features an ill-defined lesion with low attenuation no enhancement in early stage an irregular and peripheral enhancement in late cerebritis, it may progress centrally on delayed images. With capsular formation, abscess shows central low attenuation pus or necrotic debris. A rim of slightly higher attenuation surrounded by low attenuation vasogenic edema. A ring of enhancement corresponds to the capsule. Ventriculitis and obstructive hydrocephalus can be evident. In MRI brain, T1 low, T2 high signal intensity central area with T1 low, T2 high peripheral surrounding vasogenic edema area and ring enhancing capsule. High DWI signal intensity central area shows diffusion restriction. However, reduced ADC has been subsequently reported in metastases and glioblastomas. Abscesses have a lower relative cerebral blood volume, RCBV, in their enhancing rim than gliomas. Treatment Require both medical and neurosurgical therapy. CT is valuable for diagnosis. Follow-up imaging is recommended at bi-weekly intervals or when new symptoms arise. Sufficient treatment is indicated by the resolution of rim enhancement or disappearance of the low signal rim on T2 images. Treatment response may be better assessed with DWI than conventional MRI. Low signal on DWI correlates with a good clinical response, whereas an increasing signal implies reaccumulation of pus. If you like the video, you can like it, comment it, and share it with your friends. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the bell button.